Welcome to P My RODI Junior with your host, Juan Chomps. Alrighty, guys. So uh, I already finished installing the 150 upgrade membrane, uh, which is basically another 75 gallon per day membrane. Okay, which is upstairs. Uh, one thing to notice is that. I uh, moved the flash kit from the back to the front. I did it because, as you see, uh, uh, first of all, my system is a little bit up high, and second of all, is because it was in the back. So I moved it to the front for easy access purposes. Okay, so let's go back to business here with the uh, Aquatech A800 booster pump. Okay, so. The reason why, uh, as, as I explained in the beginning in my video, in video number one, is that I'm using this pump because I'm having uh, less than 40 uh, psi running uh, uh, over the entire system. What this pump is gonna do is basically uh, booster the pressure of my uh, my water in the entire system. Why it helps? It helps to uh, to reduce the water waste as well as um, the longevity of your of your membrane. Okay, so this is a must if you have a lower psi running through your system. Okay, so the pump itself is a quarter of an inch uh, measurement here for the tube, which is the one that I need for my system. That's the kind of tube that I have, quarter of an inch. Okay. The pump itself, uh, it, well, in my uh, I bought the entire kit, so mine came with the auto shut off switch, and basically what the switch does is that it feels the pressure that goes over the system. Okay, whenever it's lower than what uh, we said, uh, it will automatically shut off, shut off the the pump. Okay, so we have the transformer as well here. Which is uh, which is which will be connected to the to the pump itself, okay? Uh, the auto shut off uh, valve uh, works in conjunction with the auto shut off switch, okay? I will show you uh, in a minute the way we're going to install it. Uh, the other thing is that if you don't have the auto shut off valve with the auto shut off switch, the only thing you have to do is just basically connect the the pump to the to the transformer and that's it okay you connect the pump to the transformer and then you plug it into the electrical outlet okay if you have the auto shut up valve as I do the only thing you have to do is connect one side well I'm just gonna Give me one minute here. You connect one side and then you connect the other side to the transformer. Okay? And then what we're gonna do is that uh, the line, the blue tube that you see there is the the fine that filter is the final stage of my RODI uh, system, okay? So the blue tube over there is the 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 purifier wire, okay? So I'm just gonna uh, explain you here what are we gonna do, okay? So what is gonna happen is that we're gonna install the auto shut off switch here in one side, and then we're gonna install the auto shut off, uh, I mean another tube here to the auto shut off switch, and then the end of the of the auto shut off valve will be here, okay? So that will be uh, that will close the connection. When it goes up, the pressure change, and when the pressure change, the auto shut up valve, uh, specifically designed for the float switch, which is upstairs, which uh, which I'm gonna show you in another video, uh, will shut up the auto DI system, and this auto shut up switch will shut up uh, shut out the uh, shut up the Aquatech pump. Okay, so that's going to be the connection. Um, of course, all of this will be longer. 
and shorter. I, I, I will I will need to make my measurements and and install it. But that's basically the way it's gonna be installed. Okay, as you see, uh, the end of the Aquatech goes to one end of the switch, and then goes to the other end to the transformer. Okay. Uh, another thing that you should know is that we have a an arrow here showing the uh, the way the water the water the water runs. Okay, so this one will come come from your uh, water supplier, goes in and goes out to your system. Okay, so one thing uh, one important thing to know here. So what I'm gonna do. Now that we know um, how the booster pump works, and if you don't have the auto shut up valve, why will you need it? Uh, now I'm going to give uh, tell you my plans. Well, the plans are remove the last uh, filter, bring it down a little bit, and install the pump over it. So hopefully, I don't have to cut uh, another piece of plywood. Uh, do more screwing so I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit and hopefully I can I can fit that uh, the booster pump over it and and keep everything in the same in the same place okay so what else should I say here I guess that's it I'm just gonna try to make the installation and as soon as I finish with the installation uh, I guide you through the entire system okay so bear with me okay guys so I'm back and as you see I already installed the pump uh, I installed it upstairs and I already make a water test everything is leak proof uh, right now uh, what else TDS R0 coming out of the RODI unit and as you see the transformer is hanging there going down uh, to the connection here okay so let's follow the path of the first of all of the water supplier so water comes comes up here goes up goes up and into the intake of the pump here as you see here the line is here so it goes down and from there goes down goes down and follows the path and to into the first uh, filter and then make it its way uh, through okay uh, the out as I told you uh, we have here the purified wire water this is the last filter so uh, as I told you at the beginning we have the connection here and uh, the connection or the, the switch, uh, the auto shut off switch, as I told you at the beginning, one end of the pump goes to, to one end of the switch and one end of the transformer goes to the to one end of the auto shut off switch. Okay, so what I did, I only screw the, the pump, it came with the base. So and that's the reason why I bought the the entire kit uh, at Bug Brief Supply because it came with the transformer, it came with the uh, base, and also came with the auto shut up uh, switch. Okay, so let's follow the pad again. Uh, this is the purified water uh, goes into the auto shut up switch, goes out to the shut up shut up switch to the. Uh, in this case, it's gonna to be to the to the sink, but we're gonna we're gonna install it at the trash can. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna you I'm gonna make a half inch uh, cut through the trash can so I can actually fit uh, the auto shutter bulb in the trash can. Okay, so I guess it's time for us to take a look to the TDS first of all, which is the most important thing, and then we're gonna. Uh, Measure and see if it really uh, saving uh, saving me money in the long run uh, And also the environment, you know because I'm wasting less water, so I'm gonna turn this on As You see the water is starting to go through the entire system 
the pump is not on yet uh, I'm just gonna wait a little bit to connect it I'm just I'm just one more water to run through the system okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna connect the pump I'm gonna check the TDS and after I check the TDS I'm gonna put the the camera in the tripod and then we're gonna do the measuring cup things okay wish it were tequila instead of water but this time we're working with water okay so as you see uh, water is coming out of the drain pipe drain tube as well as the as a purify tube take a look to the way the water is coming out without the pump okay we are running uh, the uh, right now run right now the system is running at uh, less than 30 psi I mean 20 psi less than 20 psi okay so let's connect the the pump here and let's see the performance of the entire system so you see even the the filter will start to fill faster and that's uh, that's overall better for the entire system okay so let's take a look here to the pressure gauge the pressure gauge uh, is now up to 55 okay let's close it okay what I did is that I closed the the flush uh, flush valve here for the for the membrane okay so when we close it it came out to almost 88 85 uh, let's take a look to the TDS in we have 15 parts per million and now we got zero which is important and that's what we're looking for okay so uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put the tripod in the I mean the camera in the tripod so we can do the the, the measuring cup uh, testing so bear with me I'm gonna put it here on the okay let me move the light as well already so the moment of truth right now the board are empty you can even see the difference on on the water here for the blue Bluetooth which is the purified water okay so let's just start the testing we got almost one to one okay so which mean that in order for me to make 40 gallons of RODI water I'm gonna waste 40 gallons of RODI water I mean uh, 40 gallons of waste water at the beginning without the pump and without the 150 gallons per day upgrade we had a, a waste of three times more the purified water okay because I was making four cups per four cups of drain drain water or waste water um, against one cup of purified water so overall I guess uh, this is mission accomplished okay so now what I'm gonna do uh, without shutting the the system I would like to show you you know what let's let's do this for the next video cause uh, this video is too long already so I'm gonna leave it for the next video in the next video what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, test if it really works in conjunction with the auto shut up valve as well as the auto shut up switch for the booster pump okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn off the system and start working with the with the auto shut up valve and the installation of it okay so stay tuned so at this point we already see what 150 gallons per day a membrane upgrade can do for us as well as the booster pump installation if you would like to take a look to the float switch installation uh, click anywhere in the screen and it will take you to that video 
I will also be checking if uh, all the installation works properly and as well as couple tips for you guys okay so feel free to go over there and take a look and have a salty day